Well, it's the video you've all been waiting for. The one thing that everybody asked me during my live stream is to make the t voice reveal, the voice reveal video. And so, yeah, I best decided that I would be doing, uh, making my tier list on all the Fall Guys stages in the game as of Season Symphony 3. So... I'm gonna get a lot of new enemies because I am sharing a thing called opinions. So stay cautious, caution. I am sharing opinions that lots of you may hate. So just before we get started, um, uh, these are kind of the rankings that are gonna be put, each stage is gonna be put into. We have my favorites, which are hands down my favorite stages in the game. Great, love these playing these rounds and. Always, like, always look forward to playing them. Good. Don't mind getting them at all, you know? If I get it, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Meh. Just, things start kind of getting mid. Bad. This is danger I just don't enjoy playing, and hates are just, they make me want to back out personally. So, yeah. We'll start with big fans. Overall, this stage, as a round one, actually pretty good. I actually like it. It's pretty hard for the newer players, of course, but as an, it's probably the best extreme round in the game for sure. Another one is Block Party. Overall, the, the new variations are really good, but the bad variations really bring it down personally. I think good would be a understandable spot to put this in. Hoarders. My original hated stage. Back in the very first season of the game. I could not stand playing this. And especially that it used to be in solo back then. And I always used to play alone. Which means you got stuck on yellow team lots. Because of the algorithm of team games back then. It was not very fun at all. Fruit Shoot is honestly... Pretty bad, to be honest. Especially, especially the no this variations. It's just brutal. And bananas seem to have something against me. No offense, Caboose. Tipto, honestly, same as Fruit Shoot. Another late round race that I, I simply don't enjoy it. The thick bonkuses are especially crazy on the stage. They can really get in the way and... The people can be sometimes very annoying, especially with all the body block on the small platforms. Now, Divi Heights. Divi Heights, would, I would probably put a lot higher if it was, a like, maybe, like, a few months ago. But, like, I'm so burnt out of playing this stage. On God. It's, it's so common. The variations are pretty dry now, to be honest. It just, it needs to, it needs to refresh it, to say the least. And it needs to... Not be so common. Now, egg, I'm going to put Egg Scramble and Egg Siege on the same. Like, they're pretty much the same stage. Just different, like, map layouts. Though the layouts itself, Scramble's kind of more chaotic because it's much smaller than Siege. But Siege seems to have more strats when it comes to it. But overall, I don't enjoy these stages very much. Team games, just not my thing at all. However, one of the exceptions for me hating team games is Fall Ball, but you sh I, I want to put it in good, but like, duos really kills it for me, especially with the huge amount of teams that can appear in the Fall Ball game. I think I had to put it in meh, but back when it was squads only, I really enjoyed it. Small Fall Ball games are the best ones, like one of the best team games in Fall Guys. Now, I'm not going to get the finals just yet. I'm going to do them last. Next, we have Freezy Peak, which, honestly, the the Season 52 variation kind of ruined it for me. But it's honestly a pretty good stage. I can't lie. It's one of the later round sta uh, race round stages, too. And, well, nothing much to say about it. Gate Crash is another very um, standard season original season one stage and it's pretty bad to be honest it's variations don't do much really 
well, what if they're, like, I don't know, the forwards just going in circles and they yeet a second end, but they honestly don't add much. Hit Parade has more going to it than Gate Crash, but honestly, it's not much different. It's another just bolt to a straight line, to the finish line. It's, yeah, I think it goes in bad as well there for me, too. Oopsie Legends, you know what? I would like it a lot more if the gold ring wasn't absolutely busted in this mode. Like, it's six points to qualify, and you have a gold ring that gives you five points. It's basically, if you get that gold ring, you're, you're in for sure. So, I'm gonna put this in meh, probably. I feel like that gold ring kind of ruins, like, the intensity. It kind of just kills the speed of the game. My, well... Now we have the team game version of it. So, team game automatically makes it worse in my opinion because I cannot stand relying on random teammates to help me qualify. It's, I've had too much of a bad past to like Hoopsie Daisy. Hoopsie Daisy treated me awfully, especially during those low grab variations back in last season. Not fun at all. Jinxed is probably the best team game. In Fall Guys, in my opinion. I'm going to put this in good for sure. But I do... that Jinx is the only team game I kind of miss in solos. Because that 20v20 Jinx. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that was so funny. That was so funny, yeah. Jump Club. It, it's kind of boring, to be honest. It's just a survival version of Jump Showdown. But it it's very repetitive. The fruits are very unpredictable. And won't... For some reason, the two and three bar physics are different than the one bar physics. I don't know when they're planning on fixing that, but I guess they just never will. I'm going to move these finals down here first before we move on. So we got Night Fever. Yeah, Night Fever next. Night Fever is pretty good. Uh, It's uh one of the better, like, older stages for sure. It's a very fun round one to get. I like the Yeetus placements a lot though. Like the Yeetus are in the stage are really fun to take. It's not quite as good as big fans, but I like it a lot. <laughs> well, now we get to Tundra Run. Tundra Run had a very interesting stint in the last season with those crazy hex tile variations. For some reason, they decided to just remove them totally from the game instead of making them actual variations like they should have, but. I think it's good in good tier. The Superman is also really fun to do, by the way. Now we got perfect match. Well, I have I uh, I believe perfect death match here is its own place, but perfect match, it's 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 boring as hell. It's going right to the bad tier. Never enjoy getting this. Nobody dies. I've never like it. Maybe one in like fifty games. A Actual decent amount of people die. It's pretty bad to be honest. Egg one pursuit is uh, it's going straight to the hate too. Uh, physics, the grab physics, I just can't stand them at all. The pop, some the instant pop sometimes kind of get me like, like from nowhere. And like it's it just the graph fest, but if you're lucky enough, you may get like a few seconds away from the group or. Whatever. There's usually that one peg one that gets away from everybody. N another not another team game that I hate a lot is Rock and Roll. Especially during the original season. I used to hate getting this stage because, once again, the yellow team curves. It's just... I, I don't mind the first part of it, but the last part where two teams are just getting up on one. I just can't... I just... Too many bad memories of that. Here's another final. I'm gonna move that back down here. Rollout is it's kind of just the basic survival round that happens in round two or three sometimes. But it's bolted right now, so I haven't played it in a while. But personally, I'm probably gonna put it in like met tier. Nothing really special about it. It's pretty basic. Oh, seesaw's next. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay. 
when we think about it, it's not the stage we hate, it's the people. The people don't know how the seesaws work, because I don't know if they've been to a playground before, but a seesaw, if you're on one side of the seesaw, it's going to tip that side. Some people don't understand that, and they think you can just jump on it, and it will work totally normal, and it will just have no effect at all. It's going in the bad tier. One of my least favorite round ones in the game, for sure. Unless you get front spot, which it's just another run to the finish line, pretty much. Ski Falls, pretty good. It, I I really like the warped variation of Ski Fall. I wish they really kept that in the game. It, added, it made the stage a lot bigger and a lot more fun, in my opinion. But it's not even in the game right now, I think. So right now, I kind of wish they bring it back, but it's... Pretty good. All right, the original, the original brute of the favorite list, Slime Climb. Absolutely love this stage. Though it's kind of getting old, but it's still one of my favorite stages to speed run. It's a great on eliminating lots of people, especially in the limited time shows because it's not skill based matchmaking. Making so, yeah, favorite. The first favorite of this video. Snowy Scrap, another Season 3 team game. I'm it either in bad or hate, to be honest, but I think I'm just going to put it in bad. It's hard to explain, but like, as long as your team knows to use the punching gloves, you should be good. And the golden snow in the middle sometimes, too, that definitely speeds up this game if your team knows what you're doing. Also, there are some pretty funny strats, like Grief and the other team snowball before they even get down to the actual snow. It's pretty funny. Tail Tag brings me my probably my biggest pet peeve in the game. There are some rounds where the first minute just doesn't matter at all. It the only the last few seconds count, and in Tail Tag, that is basically what happens. Cause it's if you have a tail when the timer hits zero, you qualify. But if you had it for an entire minute before the last five seconds, but you lose it, you're eliminated, which kind of annoys me sometimes. So sometimes if I don't find with the tail, I just sit AFK for like the first minute and then just start running around, grab a tail in the last 30 to 20 seconds, and that's pretty much it. I'm probably going to put this in bad tier, to be honest. The meme, DoorDash, it's in the hate tier. Can't stand this as a round one. 60 people do not go through doors very well, especially with how small they are. And it's RNG too, because the fake doors, of course. You can get screwed over pretty badly if you get one door wrong and everybody's right behind you. Team Tail Tag is pretty much like Tail Tag, except you also have randoms that you need to rely on. But honestly, it's one of the better team games in my opinion. Only there's four teams and only one team gets eliminated, so very unlikely that you'll end up on the the bad side of the qualifying. But it's uh it's still pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Wall guys is kind of mid to be honest. Nothing too special about it. Sometimes the grabs don't work, which kind of pisses me off. But it. The fan blocks, I guess, are pretty cool, but that's all it really has going for it, I guess. Lucky spawns, too, for good speedruns, but nothing too insane about speedrunning wall guys, to be fair. Whirly Gig is a case of not aging very well, because it gets more boring and more boring the amount of times you play it, and there's a lot there's a lot of parts in the Whirly Gig that are just nothing there. Like, you don't get to your first obstacle to, like, more than five, ten seconds in, and it's it's not anything at all, really. I'm probably putting this in met tier. It probably would have been up here if it was, like, back in the Legacy seasons, but especially with all the vaulting now and World really Gig showing up, like, way more often now, it's just a slugfest sometimes. Now we have Snowball Survival, another one of the rounds that I really like, but... It's vaulted at the moment. I'm probably going to put this in great tier. It's basically just if Rhinos was not RNG. Because the snowballs don't have random AI. And don't lock the target. targets. They just roll. But the hitboxes are pretty bad on it. But it's, it's still I find it 
I, the hard variation is really fun to play, though. It eliminates a lot of people, and it's very skill-oriented in maneuvering through all the little platforms. Now we approach the Season 4 stages with some very high highs and some very low lows. And it starts with a very low low here with Basketball. Can't stand it. The randoms, I don't know what it is. They always seem to start own going because they don't... It's kind of confusing to random sometimes because on some stages like Egg Scramble, you score points by putting eggs in your own basket. But on basketball, you score points scoring on the opponent's net, right? But, it hey, it goes the same way for fall ball. You score points by going on the other team's goal. However, people don't translate that into basketball for some reason, and I get randoms on going every time I play this round. And the graph physics suck, just like in Penguin Pursuit. The ball can just sometimes pop out of your hands, and there's also just a drop method, which basically impossible to play against Really good players play defense against really good players because they just they're good at the drop strat. And now we get a pretty high high. Hoverboard Heroes is pretty great to be honest. It's definitely outshadowed by its newer version, Hyperdrive, but Hoverboard is still pretty good. Um, other than getting screwed over at the end sometimes at the pinball and probably being the worst at like final in the game, uh, but not actual final. It's I don't mind getting it around three or something like that and going straight to a final if it's a good variation at the end. And now we get, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's well deserving of its own tier. I, yeah. Hold on a sec. Power. Oh, that. It's gonna sit alone in its own tier because it's so bad. It's a coin flip, nothing else. You have no power, basically, whether your team qualifies or not, pretty much. Except if you're on a really good squad. But, like, oh my god. The original, like, playing Power Chip during Season 4? <laughs> Maybe enjoyed it once because it was new. But then ever after that, it was just... If you get power chip, it's over. It, it it you pretty much don't have any control if you can make it or not because of your randoms. Roll on is pretty good, I guess. One of the better um round ones and is one of the best stages on extreme. So that's what it has going for it for sure. But it's another pretty basic run in a straight line to the finish, but at least it has like a decent amount of parkour in it and actually like a lot more skill oriented it feels short circuit another stage i kind of miss it's probably going to go in good as well it's it introduced the two lap concept that another stage uses but i think that other stage also pretty on par with short circuit but short circuit introduced the season four obstacles well the low grab the little grab feature can sometimes be annoying because people just press buttons for fun. But yeah, it's overall pretty good. Skyline Stumble's probably... In, yeah, it's definitely in the great tier for me. It's one of the longer stages. It's pretty fun. It's kind of funny seeing some people that are kind of newer to the game getting stuck on the section because they don't know they have to drop down the middle instead of just run straight. <laughs> and the bridge is sometimes sort of tricky too for newer players, but yeah, overall, I have lots of fun playing Skyline, especially during Extreme. Big Shots, it's pretty bad. If only they're, like, if they kept the, if they kept the Blast Balls in Big Shots, it would be pretty good, but it's kind of just there. It doesn't eliminate anybody. It times out like 50% of the time. The fruit variation is probably one of the worst stages in the game. The five cannons can be pretty fun, but if you're in a good lobby, nobody's going to die. Perfect deathmatch. Unlike its sibling there in bad tier, it's going right to my favorites. Perfect deathmatch is 
a variation done right. As you can see, it has literally gone up one, two, three, four tiers simply by adding a bar in the middle. If only other stages can add something that deadly <laughs> to it. Button bashers, I, I really like, in my opinion. I'm debating whether to put this in favor for great. Um, introduced the one-on-one-v-1 -on -one concept. I believe it was added in a mid-season too. I might be wrong about that though, but I think I'm going to put this in great tier. I'm not necessarily a favorite of a thing. Also, I haven't played it in a while, so I'm kind of missing it. The Slime Scraper. Now that's a favorite for sure. Better version of Slime Climb in my opinion. Oh yeah, by the way, none of these are in order in the tier. They're just based on the tier. But yeah, Slime Scraper, really fun. Fun to speedrun. Kills lots of players in the match. It's, I enjoy playing it a lot. And always, always unhappy when that pops up. Season 5. Now, you know, we start with Bubble Trouble, which I don't, I've literally not played in forever. I think Bubble Trouble is a better version of Hoopsie Legends. Because the Golden Bubbles aren't as broken as the Golden Hoops. And if you know what you're doing, it's a lot less RNG since the spawns aren't really like RNG focused. They stay within the same area. So I think I'm going to put Bubble Trouble here in good. Now as a bias Lily Leaper speedrunner, I have to put this in favorites. So satisfying to speedrun. It's just probably the stage I played the most, especially during customs. Penguin Pool Party is... Gonna put it in hate tier there. The second non-team game that I put down there. I. It's basically, you get a penguin, and you go on top next to the water slide, and you get qualified, or you get stuck in a grab fest, which nobody in those grab fests seem to qualify, because everybody is just sitting up at top, just actually getting their points and qualifying. Some people don't really know how to pay, play the stage, but it's they're playing it the way it was intended to, but nobody really does that if they're tr actually trying to qualify. Now, Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground is the face of controversy, it seems. Everybody hates getting a stage when they're going on a streak or something like that. And the same goes for me. Right now, I'm going between meh or bad, but I think it's going to just be in the bad tier. I cannot stand Stopping Ground sometime. It's overused. It gets used in every event in the game. I don't know what Mediatonic likes so much about it, especially giving its own show, which rewards, like, literally no shards at all. It's kind of shocking, personally, like, how much attention this stage gets. Now Lost Temple, uh, I'm going to go back here, Treetop, very good round one stage, I'm going to put this in good tier probably, has a lot of things going for it, but it's kind of basic playing it over and over again sometimes, it's not vaulted, but it's one of the stages I'm glad isn't vaulted, because it has plenty going for it in my opinion, not necessarily in the great tier, but good is good enough. Some fruit is the odd one with the logic stages because it seems to be different with the perfect match and all that. But I think this is probably either good or meh for me. It's pretty basic to be honest. You count the fruit and then you go on the tile of the fruit that the number on the screen shows. Some people don't understand that and they just walk on a tile. I think I'm going to put this in meh to be honest. The, be the most fun I've had on the stage is probably going for the invisible platform up on top, but they're probably going to remove it. Season 6. The longest season in the game. Airtime. Hmm. I, I, this is the one stage in the game that needs variations. I don't know why they won't give the stage any variation. It's literally doing the same thing over and over again. The trapeze physics have changed recently, so it makes it even more annoying to do that basic OP strat. I'm probably going to put this in meh. Kind of, it's the same thing over and over again, pretty much. Nothing going for it at all. Full Tilt is Seesaw 2.0, but personally, I don't find it as bad, but it's still bad enough to make the bad tier, in my opinion. It, I could probably move with the meh, but 
I think I'm gonna stick it with it in bad tier. It's just, it feels longer too. The only thing it does better than Seesaw is probably, well, the, like, the randoms can't screw you over much, but the beginning part sometimes doesn't allow you to, like, even start the game. And that's, like, probably the most annoying thing that can happen in a round one. But it's pretty good in extreme because it's a longer stage. Leading light. Alright, so... I don't know whose idea it was to make it, like... Have everybody cram into a small space and... You have to be in that small space to qualify. I don't like this stage at all. At all. It's, it's a decent mess, in my opinion. Just can't stand it. Alright, now we have Party Promenade. It's... I find it pretty good, to be honest. There was the same path pretty much over again. There are some ways to go faster, but... The sliding at the end, though... It makes it pretty fun, to be honest. Probably the most fun part of the stage now. So, Pipe Dream. It's... Fun fact about this. It was originally meant to be a final, but they decided to revert it to a... Kind of a white round race, but... It's... Pretty fun in my opinion, though they can add more variations to it, like during the actual like platform parts where you like choose a path, like that section, they don't really have many variations with that, but it's different enough to actually have some kind of variety when playing it. Sweet Thebes, it's got its own show and I'm probably going to put it in good tier. It's honestly pretty fun to play when you have a party to play with, but... Sometimes playing solo can be pretty annoying. Also, sometimes you don't end up on the side you want to be at all. So I remember one time I tried to be Guardian, but it took me over 20 matches to actually become a Guardian. That was not fun, but overall, this stage, very fun to play when you're playing with friends. Now we get to the free-to-play stages. And I'll be honest, the free-to-play definitely improved the quality of the stages, in my opinion. They definitely gone up in quality, and we, but we start with balance party, which is pretty meh. It's not much. You can get body blocks sometimes, which kills your momentum so much. It kind of a decent, decent party. I like to call it back then, but I I think it's vaulted at the moment, so you can't get it because I haven't gotten it forever. And honestly, I kind of miss it a lot. I'm gonna move this back down here. Now we have speed circuit. It's Another stage, just like short circuit over here, that has the two lap mechanic, even though it's both have three laps, but they changed it to two laps before the release. And I can see why it's honestly pretty long for two laps. It's about the same speed as short circuit, uh, same size as short circuit. It's in good tier. Lots of speedrunner potential. Good first name, speed circuit. But sometimes the bounce pass can be pretty annoying. I, the first part of it is probably the most annoying, to be honest, when you start. The Slooper. Slooper's pretty fun. I'll probably put it in good tier. It's, well, you basically run across the circle and you're being chased by a fan. It's, I like the concept of it, but nothing too unique was done with it, to be honest. Not enough to put it in my favorites or in a great tier. Now, Track Attack is probably my favorite non-final in this season. I'm going to put it in great. I like speedrunning in this stage a lot. The new speedrunning mechanic with the slide with the slide mechanic is pretty fun to do. It's funny how the bottom path is now faster than the top path when it comes to speedrunning it. But that's happened in a lot of stages in Fall Guys. <laughs> now we have Wally Fall, which is the other 1v1 game mode. Just like Bond Basher. It isn't as good as Bond Basher's. The physics and Wally Fall are pretty, pretty bad, to be honest. But I somehow managed to win the mechanics pretty well. I'm pretty good about it. I've only lost a couple times in it during its release. I'm probably going to put it in good tier. Bean Hill Zone is, was an event. Released during an event. The Sonic event. It was... Round 1 was good, round 2 was decent, round 3 was brutal, because there was one broken part that gives you so many rings, and it's basically just farming that same section over and over again until you win. If a final, this would be in the hate list, but I think this is deserving of the good. 
I think it being added to solo was a nice addition, especially for the variety, because we barely, barely get to play this. All right, season two. Cosmic Highway? It's great. I really like the stage, and I really miss it. Unfortunately, the Switch can't handle it very well. Dang you, Switch. But anyways, yeah. If this was in Extreme, I think it would be even better than Big Fans. <laughs> oh, I could just imagine what the Elimination screen will be like there. It will be like down to 4 out of 60. That made it. It's so... I, I really wish... I really wish this stage comes back soon. Frantic Factory? Honestly, it might be one of the weaker additions in the season. I'm probably going to put it in mid tier, to be honest. The button spawns are pretty... Well, it's kind of similar to Hoopy Legend when it comes to that, except they're in all gold but golden buttons, of course, but... The layout, just... It can... There are some spots that are a lot better than others. And then sometimes you're just waiting the button to come out of the tube, just like it, the picture here. You're just waiting and waiting just to get that one spot. And there's probably like three others waiting for you. The wrapped version of it was pretty fun though. It's like going into the little lab there, but they're, that's probably not going to be in the game anymore, unfortunately. Now we got Hexa Terrestrial, which I'll be putting back here, of course. Hyperdrive, one of my favorites. It's... Basically, like, the newer equivalent to Slime Scraper, except it's in the Hoverboard Hero style. It gives a lot of people. There's a lot going on in it. It, It's very fun to play. And there's even some fun, like, strats to take shortcuts in, but you can't really take shortcuts very much because you need to be on the Hoverboard for most of it. But, yeah. Personally, I do like Hyperdrive a lot. Unlike Hyperdrive, I really don't like Pixel Painters. Probably because it's Squad and Duos, um... It's only in those two shows. And the Pixel Painters show isn't very good at all. I'm probably going to put it in bad tier. If there were a solo version of this, I think it would be a lot better. But I don't... There's Clearly, there's not enough, like, actual, like... It's their own platform, so that's probably why they couldn't do it. But they could probably, like, change the stage to have it have more, like, spaces for people to join. Now, there's Space Race, which I'm... I really like the stage a lot. It's probably going to go in great, but I, I, it's been gone for such a long time and I barely got to play it. I I don't even remember half of the stage, to be honest, uh, but I do remember enjoying it a lot because I had a lot going on in it. The only bad part was the little cylinder with the thrusters on it. Those invisible thrusters, that, that was just... I don't know how I got through testing at all. Now we have a, yet another Season 2... Uh, season 6 and YouTube stage that is vaulted at the moment. Star Chart, not necessarily as good as Cosmic and Space Race, but I think it's still deserving of the good tier. It, it was pretty fun to play, to be honest, but uh, sometimes the path can be pretty weird and awkward. I'm gonna put Tiptoe back here. Treat three, Treat Thieves. I'm probably gonna put up Sweet Thieves, because it's it, I personally like the Sweet Thieves map better, but Treat Thieves was a nice refresher and to the game, and I do. It was pretty fun to play during a Halloween event. And now we get to the newest season, the season, the season Symphony Three Stages. Three Slider is the best of the stages. I'm probably going to put it in great. It's very fun to speedrun, I find, but it's pretty. Lackluster when it comes to anything else. It's just slide to the finish. No obstacles yet. But I'm sure variations could change that when they add them. Hopefully. Hoop Shoot is just a boring version of Speed Slider in my opinion. Because it's going in the same pattern over and over again. That's going to go on mid tier for me. It just, it's you go bottom path and then middle path. And you do that over and over again until you qualify. That's basically what you do. Puzzle Path is a stage that I really liked, like, when it was introduced, but I've slowly gone down. I almost want to put it in bad, but I'm going to put it in mid tier. Once people, like, if you end up in a sweat lobby with this stage, oh my god, is it a nightmare. I want to put it in, like, 
a pretty high level lobby before, and but what path was the one stage everyone dreaded just because of the amount of body blockage that would happen when going through a portal. And like when you write down on a slide, that is the worst because it slows you down so much. Now we have Blastlantis. It's I like the concept of it, but it was poorly executed in my opinion. The stage is way too big or it needed more players, but unfortunately it has just that too little amount of players and that too big of like platforms and such. I'm probably going to put this in Mad with Puzzle Path. Nothing too much going for it. Now we get to the finals. Now, I'm, I'm going to do the finals from my least favorite to my favorite. So, I'm, I'm starting off with Fumble. Fumble was my least favorite final in the game, and it always has been personally since I started playing this game pretty seriously. Just, it's the same problem with me with Tail Tech. The first minute is so useless. You don't do, you can just stand there for an entire minute and then just start moving during the 30 seconds, get the tail, you win. And if you have the tail for like a minute 25 and you lose it in the last five seconds, you lose. I don't understand why this game works that way. I think it should be a point system on who holds it longest or who holds it to a certain amount of time. That's how I think, if that how the final works, I think it would be a lot better. But right now, uh, it's the final that I just don't like the most. Next, I have Fall Mountain. Fall Mountain is like what most people think of a Fall Guy final, but I can't. Like the balls in this state, just it annoys, it annoys me a lot. If you can't look up, the cam like your camera is not able to look high enough to see where the balls are heading towards. So you can just get screwed over simply because you don't know which direction the ball is heading and it's heading towards you. The Yetus, I've had problems with sometimes too. They seem to change the placement of it a lot and the speed. Personally, Fall Mountain is just not my cup of tea. And staying consistent with the race finals, though going up a tier, I'm putting Lost Temple. Personally, Lost Temple just isn't my thing. I've had way too many bad experiences with it to like actually enjoy it anymore. But like, I know plenty of people do enjoy playing Lost Temple, especially a few particular people who have made a, like some crazy websites with Lost Temple. I can't, I can't believe those people, those players can. Like, the science behind it is insane. I'm going to give credit to those players. Those The Lost Temple science is pretty crazy, actually. Seeing them, like, go D4 to E4 and all that. Like, it's pretty funny. I, but I'm illiterate to it, so I, <laughs> I feel like a huge disadvantage to me sometimes when I'm playing with them. But other than, like, knowing how to go through rooms the faster way, there's not really much going for me in Lost Temple. And... The, I'm, what I'm glad is, though, is they removed the flipper room from a long time ago. That was the worst, I think, part of a final in any final, like, at all in the game. And, which is funny, because my last, my tiptoe finale also comes right after Lost Temple as a race, but it's a squads and duels only race, but it doesn't appear in solo show, but tiptoe finale is kind of the most forgettable final in my opinion. It's the least played since it's not in any of the solo shows at all. It's it's another version of already race final in the game in tiptoe. But I guess it's got like the fun uh, the fun mechanic of shooting the cannon to reveal tiles further down. But other than that, it's nothing really special in my opinion. I still find it better than Lost Temple though, because you usually if you get this stage it makes your squad's usually pretty decent, so you can do pretty well in the tiptoe if you need to know guys know what you're doing. Now, all of these are all the survival finals, and my least favorite survival final is Hexaterrestrial by quite a bit, actually. Hexaterrestrial is basically you run around for the first minute, and then when the walls actually come in, they, it chaos happens. Though I've been trying to learn a new strat next to somebody, but it's I still need to get hang of it because sometimes it just doesn't work but I think that's what happens because runners seem to in, in, infest in hexaterrestrial a lot 
Now I have the new final here on Kraken Slam. Though we're going up a tier. Kraken Slam kind of have the same scenario as uh, Royal Fumble does, where the first bit is pretty annoying. It's just nothing. Unless somebody decides to be a menace and break the tiles, which so I like to grief those people, but I gotta give <laughs> credit to them for wanting to stir up things. But it's just not my thing. Hexagon is next. The classified as the favorites among Twitter, though probably like my favorite final back in the old days. New days, it's kind of grown on. It's kind of just. It's not my thing anymore, really. I enjoy the other newer finals much more than Hexagon now. Hexagon kind of feels kind of more RNG than the other finals, simply because sometimes you don't know where the other players are. If they're on top of you sometimes, you don't know where they're going to drop. It's kind of... I feel like Thin Ice is just Hexagon done kind of better, in my opinion. Next, we have... Probably the final I have a lot, the most fun playing, but the final I want to least encounter when I'm grinding crowns, Blast Ball. Blast Ball is way too unpredictable sometimes. Though I really do enjoy Blast Ball Trials, Blast Ball is a final sometimes when I'm like grinding, like going on a grind since I'm still on the way to Mar Marvelous. Blast Ball sometimes just appears when I don't want it to. Though I do have fun playing it, when I'm playing with, like, maybe in a Snipes game or something like that, Blast Ball is not very enjoyable, because it's impossible to time out. It, sometimes you get targeted a lot, especially wearing golden skins. That's just, this is the prime stage to get targeted on. And, yeah, sometimes some people would just grab you instead of playing the actual stage, as in Blast Balls, and then throw on the balls, but they just like to go around grabbing sometimes. The only time I grab there is usually when... Somebody have a ball next to me or at the end game where I like to tap grab and people usually fall sometimes. Okay, now these four, uh, okay, I'll, I'll say that these next three could probably go in any order depending on the day. But overall, I think the next sign I'm going to put on the list is Thin Ice and it's going to go in great tier. I'm not really in love with any of these finals, but I think all the finals, like starting from Crack the Slam, I... If it's the final, I'm good. I'm good with it. But Thin Ice, I really miss it. I I, I don't know what that slide physics would do on it, but I really miss Thin Ice a lot. It's one of the better finals in the game, and always has been for me. But yeah, nothing much to talk about here because it's been gone for a bit. The last time I played it, that was during like those Blast Ball bangers when they had the Blast Balls in it, but it was a survival round instead of a final. But yeah, hopefully they add Thin Ice back sometime soon. Next, I have Jump Showdown. Jump Showdown, the peak of timing out finals. And it's pretty skill-oriented if you know how to grab, counter-grab. Grabbing, <laughs> for people that hate you for grabbing on a stage, but uh, if you find a way to counter those grabbers, then you'll be very, very, like, very, like safe when it comes to playing Jump Showdown. And winning all the time. And out of these two finals, Roll Off is next. Roll Off is what, like, it's probably the most bland final, but it works so well as a final. The two rings, it's pretty intense too, especially in the end when the slime is all the way up and it's really any place to maneuver. Also, one rolling is very fun in Roll Off and it's a very, very fun stage to time out, especially with friends. Which means my favorite final in the game right now is Hexer Ring. Although, not by much. If it was the old Hexer Ring during Season Symphony 1 release, it would be hands down my favorite final in the game. Probably would have been in the favorites tier. But, Hexer Ring now, it's still pretty good. But that beginning, where it goes so slow, it, it does so much damage that it's impossible to time out. And now the size adjusts to the amount of players are in the game. Which I feel like instead of that, it should have been like a set amount of players on like the normal actual hexer ring. So it should have been like 8 to 12 players, 8 to 16 or something, but always be on the same size of platform instead of adjusting to the amount of players in the final. 
But yeah, that's texturing for me. This means I am done with this tier list, so I hope I hope I didn't stir up too many of your opinions. Uh if make sure to you can for sure leave down your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.